and is abusing the user, you're losing ownership of your stuff. Well, hello there. Looks like you guys get at least one more driving video, although this will be a short one as I have a uh, relatively quick stop to make and I'm not gonna go past that. I released a video earlier today, well, maybe yesterday if this comes out tomorrow, um, where I said that I had strayed from my path and I was going to go back to making the kind of stuff that the audience has said that they wanted, and I feel like, based on the response, that I probably should make a more detailed video explaining that, because some people were like, keep doing what you're doing, and other people were like, good, and the subscriber count went down by 10. So, there's a very mixed opinion as to, um, you know, what's going on. And ignore my finger here. I'm actually using a napkin to pad my tiny action camera um, up against my uh, mirror here. And maybe I can show you, or maybe I can't. Never mind. So, what I was trying to say is not that I'm gonna just stop making all the stuff that you've started to get used to recently with like the driving rambling videos. I'm not necessarily gonna not make any more of that. <clears throat> this is more of a return to, like the reason that I have an audience in the first place is that I covered things that people wanted to hear about. And maybe not in the Windows 11 video, but in several other videos, I feel like I put a lot more work into presentation, thinking things through, and it wasn't just a, you know, 40 minute rambling video in the car, very low effort stuff. Um, I, I would like to put out higher quality than that. I don't want this driving video thing to become normalized. Um, regarding the announcement that I'm not going to be doing the politics stuff on YouTube anymore, I'm not talking about the bit where I say, this bill is bad, call your representatives. That was on the Tech Channel for a reason, because the Restrict Act is very much a tech-related problem that affects everybody. What I was talking about is my YouTube channel, Jody Bruchon Politics. Jody Bruchon Politics is where I shoved all my political videos that are still unlisted or private on this channel before I split it off into several channels when the popularity went up. Because I wanted to make each channel have a theme. I, w I don't want all the political stuff mixed in with all the tech stuff because honestly, a lot of us tech guys, we just want to be left alone. We don't want to have to think about politics all the time. And so, you know, a rant about, I don't know, um, left-wing nut jobs going off on something or right-wing nut jobs saying something really stupid you don't want to hear that when you're watching someone whose main thing is, you know, freedom, Windows 11 is evil, you know, user interfaces need to not continue, they need to stop being so crappy. Like, you don't want those two things mixed together. If you want the political stuff, there's a separate political channel for it. What I was saying is that I'm not going to release any more videos on that political channel. Anything that is important enough to be on tech and also safe enough that YouTube, the friggin' Nazis that they are, uh, will not knock my channel out, you know, I should probably explain this a little bit further. Let me wind back and get to a more fundamental level on this issue. <clears throat> YouTube, one of the things that they've been doing is they've banned entire AdSense um, accounts. Not not channels, but every channel associated with a specific AdSense account. So what would happen is th the first step is demonetization and with demonetization comes significantly curtailed reach which means less people see your stuff because YouTube just doesn't tell them it exists anymore. Um, then, beyond demonetization come actual bans. Um, I was talking in a recent video about how Matt Walsh had um, been fully demonetized by YouTube for not saying something regarding, you know, respecting someone's chosen pronouns. And that the opinion that I have on that doesn't matter, at least for this discussion. 
and it doesn't belong on this channel unless it's just a tangential thing that you know we we talk about other issues that just sort of stem from that this is where the whole Matt Walsh getting demonetized for not respecting some celebrity person's trans pronouns thing starts to come into play. If I put political content out on the politics channel, not on the tech channel, but on the politics channel, and YouTube doesn't like something on the politics channel, YouTube will not just cut the reach of the politics channel. YouTube will cut the reach of Jody Bruchon Tech, Jody Bruchon Entertainment, Jody Bruchon Photo Video, Jody Bruchon VHS and Stock Footage Archive, and Jody Bruchon Politics, and demonetize everything. Now granted, I only have tech monetized, but I get maybe a hundred bucks a month from that, even after the, after the whole Windows 11 thing went away, you know, after all that fame, I still get like a hundred bucks a month. It would be nice to continue making a hundred bucks a month. But, here's the bigger problem, and this is why people who speak out too much against the establishment get, they, they get hit. They're the nail that sticks up and gets hit by the hammer. It's because if you're too outspoken about anything that might hurt YouTube's bottom line, which in the case of Matt Walsh, because he was fueling the Bud Light protest, boycott, whatever you want to call it, um, which has at this point proven to have at least short term hurt Anheuser-Busch, the company's income, and it's being perpetuated. This is a very simple cycle, okay? YouTube doesn't want one of its creators to basically be making sure that one of its advertisers is making less money. Um, because what happens is then YouTube doesn't get that sweet, sweet Anheuser-Busch money. That's the real reason, in my opinion, that Matt Walsh was demonetized for not respecting pronouns. It's not about respecting pronouns. It's about not hurting YouTube, not biting the hand that feeds it. YouTube wants Anheuser-Busch's money. If Anheuser-Busch doesn't make the money and people on YouTube are responsible, at least in part, or they're the figureheads of it or whatever, then... Anheuser-Busch is going to say, well, we're just not going to advertise on YouTube anymore. We're not going to give money to the platform that hurts us, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, enough about that. It is a political thing to discuss, but it's YouTube censorship. One way or the other, it's still YouTube censorship. And even though there's a reason for it, it makes sense if you're YouTube, it's still censorship. <clears throat> and the problem is, I could say something this happened to several people. <clears throat> hasn't happened to me. I could say something that YouTube doesn't like, right? And when I say it, it, it could stay up for a week or two weeks. This Bud Light thing's been going on for like a month, month and a half. Um, I could say it for, and weeks later, be penalized for it. It was fine when I put it up. But then later, YouTube goes, oh, well, you know, that hurts one of our advertisers or we don't like that for whatever reason, be it any business reason, it doesn't matter. YouTube can do whatever they want. So, if I get demonetized, I lose that $100 a month. Big deal, right? Who cares? Jody, is your integrity worth $100 a month? Well, no. No, my integrity isn't worth $100 a month. But here's the other problem. Demonetization, uh, or just getting on YouTube's bad side and getting marked, you know, with the mark of the beast of YouTube, it, it comes with throttling. It comes with choking your reach. You cannot reach people. Like, it, let's say, um, I don't remember the numbers right now. I haven't been hawking my view counts or anything, but let's say I make, uh, let's say I get 10,000 views a month in total on my videos. If YouTube decides that they're going to put the scarlet letter on me, <coughs> um, like they did Matt Walsh, because I had some political take at some point that they retroactively decide they're going to enforce a ban on and they blacklist me from, you know, reach. That's the problem is I might lose the money, but I'm going to lose the reach and I might only get a thousand views a month because YouTube will choke. They will throttle my ability to reach you. Even people who subscribe to me will have their ability to see my videos choke because guess what? If you're Bell subscribed, like if, if you're just regular subscribed, okay, 
YouTube decides what makes it through in the notifications and what doesn't. If you're bell subscribed, full dingle dingle bell subscribed, then theoretically YouTube puts notifications in your notification area for every video released up to a point. But even then they could still throttle it. And there are people who have said that they've noticed that they've been throttled, that YouTube has choked their ability to, um, to reach anyone. Like, people aren't getting notifications even though they bell subscribed for whatever video. They just happened to notice the video when they were poking around otherwise. So YouTube is notorious for limiting reach. YouTube, despite what we want, YouTube is still by far the largest platform. To get visibility, you must get it on YouTube. So my spicy political takes, if I want to put them out there, I can't put them out on YouTube because YouTube will scarlet letter my ass and I'll lose not only a hundred bucks a month or more, but I'll also lose the reach, which means that basically even my audience will start to lose the ability to watch my videos unless they go out of their way to do it, which is inconvenient and is just not gonna happen for the vast majority of people. So that's the YouTube side of not making more political videos. I will post my politics crap on Rumble, BitChute, Odyssey, you know. I have all these alternative platforms you can find at jodybruchon.com on the right-hand side under Stalk Me on the Internet. <coughs> this air is very dry. So you can go there, you can find my videos anytime, and on, on those other providers, I just mix everything together. I don't have themed channels. But the politics stuff is gonna stop. I'm not gonna put anything else up. I may have to remove stuff that's already there out of fear of my reach being choked. You don't wanna get on YouTube's bad side if you want to um, you know, reap the benefits that YouTube provides, which really at this point is just visibility. I would get, and every big creator has ever, ever existed has said they get way less on non-YouTube platforms than they do on YouTube. You have to, with social, you kind of have to play ball with the biggest players or you end up in obscurity. YouTube is a funnel to get people in. Once they're in, they can watch you on other providers because they'll know about you. But you know what? You're watching me on YouTube right now. The truth is that people who use everything but YouTube are a minority. And there's no way around that. It's just the facts. <clears throat> That's why no political, you know, spicy political videos on the politics channel anymore. That's just got to go. If I have a political take, it goes on all platforms. They're new tech exclusives, and that's the end of it. So the other thing is the more recent video where I'm talking about I don't want to make these low effort like this video right now. I don't want to make driving talking videos anymore. Um, I want to make good stuff. I want to make edited stuff. And the one big thing that I really want to make and that I just need to buckle down and finish up is the user interface documentary that I have teased and I have said I was doing and so on. And life just keeps getting in the damn way. And I keep putting out these relatively low effort videos instead of it. And a lot of you subscribed only for it. So th that's the thing is I want to put out a high quality product and I'm not doing that even right now. This video is not a high quality product. It's me talking to a, a cheap ass action camera mounted in my windshield <clears throat> and coughing a lot. You know, oh, you could have edited out the cough. Shut up. So I, I'm trying to put out better stuff. If I'm gonna put something out, it needs to be decent or at least worth watching. And a lot of people have said that they don't really care for what I'm doing here in this video now. They don't wanna sit here and listen to me yammer for 30 minutes. You know, they, they came for the Windows 11 thing. They stayed for the UI documentary and the Windows 11 follow-up video and, you know, some of that, that kind of theme stuff about, like, you know, how technology is basically turning to shit and is abusing the user. You're losing ownership of your stuff. There's a big parallel with Lewis Rossman um, and other Right to Repair channels as well. And people are interested in that. They're not so much interested in hearing me complain about the phone tree or whatever that my insurance company uses. So, you know, that that's fun. Um, I'm just trying to give the people what they want in the end. And that that's it. I don't I don't know how else to say it. It's just uh, everybody there's there's I still have over 35,000 subscribers somehow. And I would estimate over the course of a week, at least a thousand of them 
um, a thousand of you watch any decent video that I put out, remotely decent video. So that that's at least a thousand people that each have their own individual ideas and opinions about what is good and what is bad that I do. Some of you like this, some of you like that. But I think that the numbers bear out that many more of you would prefer that I produce more um, tech, you know, privacy, and basically just like, here's what needs to change, um, that kind of content, than me complaining about things with, with no, you know, no, no substance to speak of in the complaint. Like, I can say that something sucks, and I can yell about it, it's fun, uh, but most of you aren't here for that, and that's why I'm, <laughs> sorry, I'm backing up. You should always back up, by the way. If you haven't noticed, you should always back up. But um, I think that most of you want to see better content than what I've been putting out. Um, the numbers bear this out, the view counts, and hey, you know what? Let's do it right now. Before I walk into this hardware store and buy some paint, let's do it right now. Oh, hey, a comment. I want you remember you don't care what the masses want. You should give us what you think our dumb brains need to hear. There you go. But uh, let's let's look it up right now. What was it? The video, the view counts. So, under my content tab here, Big Tech commits felonies to cancel troublesome creators, and I you know that was me talking, but it was me talking about Big Tech and um, the censorship issue. Three days ago, it's almost a thousand views. Windows XP faster than Windows 10, uh, 1500 views six days ago. Pay someone a quarter so I don't have to deal with this shit. I had to remove that from the title. Um, 832 views. Asus is no longer my friend, a thousand views. Driving and talking about the death of UI, 1.4k views. Do this immediately or the Restrict Act, 3,000 views. But then it starts to fall off. Like I talked about Intel Turbo Boost, that only got 800. You know, asked for a cash discount, discount, how about an asshole tax? That hasn't even hit 500 views. <coughs> Windows 11 Extra Turbo Shitty Edition, 1.7k views. It, it's pretty obvious that what you people want to hear about is how shitty things have gotten in, te in tech and why they're so awful. And when, when I look at these videos, I mean, I've got these videos that have been up for months that don't have 600 views, and it's stuff like, like replacing old laptop CMOS batteries or Windows NT installation. You don't care about that. You don't care about that. You care about big tech abusing you. You care about Microsoft making the shittiest product known to man and everything offered as an alternative not being any better. That is by far what people want to see. That They're not as interested in hearing me talk for 40 minutes. And I think there are different audiences. I think that to some extent, the video I'm doing now, there are going to be a few of these. But the problem is that it feels like what I've been putting out has leaned toward lower effort and not doing what people have asked for in my comment, my um, suggestion box video. In you can find a link to that. I'll actually, when I post this, I'll put a link to that in the description right at the top, so you can find it. You can read the comments there. I, I have actually saved all of them, and I'm gonna basically follow those comments, kind of tally things up. If you want, feel free to add more comments, but. I'm not doing what the suggestion box thing, what all the feedback said that I should do. And I think that's part of the reason that over, you know, just since the Windows 11 video blew up and then it kind of came back down, I think that's the reason things declined back to the way they were before that video blew up. Because I'm not putting out what people want so much. I'm putting out what some people like but not as many. And I could make the same general content, but put it out in a way that a lot more people like. So that, that's just where I am. I better get in here and buy this paint. Thanks for listening. Have a great one. And um, like I said, better things are on the way, so just hang on.